Bert, Bert, Bert Badger, Bert, 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 Bert Badger. Nice to meet you. Bert, 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 Bert Badger in the house. Hey little badgers, I'm Bird Badger and welcome to Nice to Meet You. If it's your first time joining us, nice to meet you. Today, we're at the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. And we're gonna learn what skateboarding is all about and where it came from. But don't forget to stick around to the end of the episode to see what's in my magic fanny pack. My magic fanny pack. My magic. All right, let's go inside the Skateboarding Hall of Fame and see what it's all about. I'm so excited. There are so many skateboards in here. Do you guys know what skateboards are? It's, this is called a deck. And this is what you skateboard on. And then we put trucks on top with wheels. And inside the wheels are little tiny balls called ball bearings that make the wheels go. Look over here. Back in the day, you could take your skateboard down this giant slide and go right into an empty swimming pool and go up and down. And up, and down, and up, and if you said down, you get a bonus point. Let's go check out some more cool stuff around here. These are some of the first skateboards ever invented circa 1950. Wow, that's Ole Amber Badger. When you look at these skateboards, you think, wow, they're all wood and everything, and thick. They're really thick. And now, look at how thin skateboards have become. These were the first initial models of skateboards, and it's involved to a sport that's worth over a billion dollars! Earth, earth, earth. Hi guys, we're here with Todd, the owner of the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. And we're gonna ask him some questions. Why do you like owning a Hall of Fame <laughs> skateboarding place? Um, I just like to pay tribute to the people that I looked up to when I was a kid. It feels good to honor them and show the world that they're important and that what they did as far as skateboarding matters. That's so cool. How many skateboards do you think you own? Uh, several thousand, I don't know. Like, it's really hard to count because they're not all here. Some are on loan to other museums or other skate shops throughout uh, different parts of the world. So I don't know, a couple thousand. How do you ride all of them, Todd? Uh, one a day, maybe? Thank you so much for letting us into your skateboarding hall of fame and museum. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming to check it out. I just made a new friend. His name's Spencer. Let's see where he is. Spencer, where are you? Spencer, come out. Spencer, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. Cool. Spencer's a music therapist. Spencer, what does that mean? Well, a music therapist is someone who helps through music. When you want to learn something, you can learn more through music. That sounds really cool. What a great job to have. Yeah. What are we going to do today? Well, I brought something special with me. <laughs> it's a blue backpack. Blue backpack. Wait a second. Blue and backpack start with what letter? I know, I know. What is it? B. A B, just like, wait a second, Bert Badger. That's me. So Bert, why don't you reach in the backpack and pull something out? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> what is that? I think it's a bear. A bear. And bear starts with B. B. That's right. Good job, guys. Now, Bert, I want to show you something that I do with this bear. I put it on my head. <laughs> That is so silly. <laughs> and I have a song about a bear on my head. <gasps> Mr. Spencer's got a bear on his head. Mr. Spencer's got a bear on his head. Mr. Spencer's got a bear on his head and he leaves it there all day. I love that song so much, Spencer. Hey, I have, I have an idea. What? I do a segment on this show. It's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world to do. It's called, No, You Silly Goose. No, You Silly Goose! Do you put a bear on your head? No, no you, you silly goose! goose. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spencer. It's nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you too. Bye bye. These skateboards are from the '80s when I was just a little boy. I'm old. 
old. <laughs> Look at how much fatter they are. They're almost shaped like a fish, which helps stabilize more when you're in pools. And right above me is the most famous skateboarder that ever lived. His name is Tony Hawk. You might know him because he did a 900, which means he spun around a whole bunch of times more than anybody else could. It was so cool. I was in high school when that happened, and it was a huge deal. Let's go check out some more cool stuff here at the skate park. One of the big things that you gotta know about skateboarding is safety. Always wear your pads. First thing you wanna do is put your helmet on. This is the most important thing. It protects your head from hitting the ground if you fall. I got mine ready. And then you're also gonna want some pads. Let's open them together and see what's inside. These are elbow pads. Where do these go? If you guessed elbow, bonus points. They go right on your elbows. Oh look, it's knee pads. What do you think knee pads protect? Did you guess knees? <laughs> bonus points. Good job. Yeah, these go right on your knees like that. And so if you fall, when you're on the mini ramp or whatever, you can just slide down. Or if you're on just flat ground, it protects your knees from getting really hurt. Let's put them on. Please. Looks like I'm ready for action. Let's go skateboard, guys. I got my pads and my helmet on and my bandana. And we're gonna go shred the gnar here at the Skateboarding Hall of Fame and Museum. Let's do it! Skateboarding robot from outer space He's here for a while, then gone with no trace Nuts, bolts, and bearings fill his face It's a skateboarding robot from outer space Skateboarding, skateboarding, all I want to do Go outside skating with my pails, brand new The skate robot wants to skate with you You skate so good, like a cow goes moo We are in uncharted skateboarding territory Who is that? It's skateboarding robot from outer space He's here for a while, then gone with no trace Nuts, bolts, and bearings fill his face It's a skateboarding robot from outer space Skateboarding, skateboarding, so much fun His board has rocket boosters, flies fast, Kessel Run Skating with the robot is fun by the time When it comes to skating, he's number one What is that strange object skating by? It's a skateboarding robot from outer space He's here for a while, then he's gone with no trace Nuts, bolts, and bearings fill his face It's a skateboarding robot from outer space Alright, now it's time for my favorite segment. No, you silly goose! No, you silly goose! Okay, alright, alright. Hmm, alright. Oh, I got it. Could you use a banana as a skateboard and ride on it? No, you silly goose! The banana would explode! What? Thank you, Bert Badger. As always, it's nice to meet you. I am Mr. Magical Spectacular. I travel from a land far away to bring you the wonders of magic. I love magic so much, don't you? It makes me feel so warm inside to know that anything is possible. Today, we're going to do some magic tricks. And let's pull from the outer realms the very first trick of the day. <sighs> What have we drawn from the outer realms? It appears to be a very tiny die. Hmm. But this die is too small to play with. What shall we do? Hmm, what shall we do? Shall we make it smaller? Hmm. No. What about bigger? Did you say let's make it bigger? Then you get a... Magic Unicorn Point! Yes! With our powers we shall... Magical Spectacular! It's much bigger! Well done, everyone! You've done a great job in making this die... bigger! Let's see what we have for our next trick! 
Oh, what have we summoned this time? It appears to be a magical rubber band, a lid, a magic cube, and a ball. But what color is the ball? Hmm? <gasps> Did I hear blue? If you said blue, you get a unicorn point. <laughs> so let's take our magic ball, place it in the cube. We must put the lid on the cube. Now, there's no way this ball will escape this cube now, you say. But to be sure, let's put our magic rubber band over the top so it can't escape at all. Or can it? If we are magical spectacular! Ooh, it has escaped! It's so magical and quite spectacular. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on Magical Spectacular. For my final trick, I shall disappear! Did it work? What is this? A knight, you say? Well then, I'm off on a quest to save the princess. Back to you, Bert Badger. Hey guys, this is Doug and he's a pro skateboarder and he also teaches here at the Skateboarding Hall of Fame and Museum. Doug, what's it like being a pro skateboarder? It's a lot of fun and it's, it's amazing to be able to inspire a new generation of kids and be like the role model and it's really rewarding. That's so cool. Now what, what gets you skateboarding every day? What makes you want to go out there and just tear it up? Well, the thing I like about it most, it can't be mastered. You can always improve. You can always get better. You can always improve everything you're working on. No matter, like, I'm doing it for 25 years now, and I can still get better. And that very motivated me. Those are great words of motivation. Thank you so much, Doug. No problem. And uh, let's go see what's in my magic fanny pack. <laughs> let's see what's inside my magic fanny pack today. <laughs> No way. <sighs> One of my favorite things to play with when I'm so bored is a tech deck. It's a mini skateboard. If you're too young to go on the mini ramps and do all those things, you can grab yourself a tech deck and you can learn how to do cool moves and just have the best time ever. Look at this cool tech deck. It feels just like a skateboard too. It's rough on there and it's smooth here. It's got trucks and wheels and it goes Tech decks are so cool. If you want to try out skateboarding, you can't get yourself a real skateboard, get a tech deck. They're super cool. I had so much fun skating with you guys today. It was a blast shredding away. But unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. But don't forget, we get to hang out again real soon. I'm Bert Badger, and it was nice to meet you. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go skateboard some more. Thank you guys so much for watching the show today. It means so much to us. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and hang out even more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be up to date on the latest and greatest, Burt Badger, nice to meet you. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to tell all your buddies about how much fun you had today with the one, Mr. Burt Badger. <gasps> nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Okay, go outside and play, do something productive. I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot, I'm a robot.